quick demo and test for Interact.js for a project I'm looking at. Um, Interact.js.io, you'll see that it has options for doing several forms of just DOM manipulation, uh, drag and drop zones, pieces in on here, and uh, constrained. And each one of these examples, um, which are all up on GitHub, show the simple JavaScript, the HTML, in this case, it's like, okay, just one div. Now there's obviously some other parts going into that HTML, and that's what I needed to unpack just to see how this example worked. Now I've worked with Interact.js for several years. I use it to develop uh, this application with my team, and that worked great. That environment, this was all one SVG object, uh, and it works well within that context uh, with a lot of programmatic sets. We did our own inertial throwing. So now I wanted to switch out and do it in the DOM world. And so in the sample, what I took was, um, I'm looking at their, their GitHub. Well, if I went to, if you went to Interact.js, just see in their community, if you went to GitHub, there we go. It's got a lot of activities and the examples that you're going to see here are actually inside this. But this HTML is going to be pulled into their web page. So it's a little bit hard to unpack just the simple parts. And so that's what I did here. So I have my project I was working on and I have that top level example here. And I can open with web server there. And this is the one they have just for a canvas drawing. In this case you're drawing on the canvas, you're not dragging the canvas. And that's the step I want to get to next. Um, but I pulled down the other one, and this is the one I wanted to look at most, is the resize. And I have the CSS for the blue rectangles. I have the, the this is the code that's actually gonna do that resize operation. We'll look at that probably in another video. But here is the index, and I'm actually just gonna cut this piece out just for that initial test. And if we go ahead and open up live server on this window, there I've got this page, I'm moving it around. Oh, I do have that canvas. Well, that's the step I was going to get to. So, but that's outside the div. So if I just put that simple canvas tag, like the one they used in the pixel drawing example, and just put that in there and save it, live server will update that. And now I have the two pieces working. So it has the move, has the drag. There is an inter interesting interaction between those two. So that's the first test. It's straightforward to work with pulling it in here. Note that uh, I am using it from the npm install. So when I set up my directory, it made a node modules. Uh, the only module I have right now is interact.js, but I can work with it directly uh, with my web server. So I'm not using the CDN uh, just by taking it relevant relative to the index.html. I'm going up and then into node modules, interact.js into their disk directory. And that would be right here dist and then they have a map they have uh, they also have a minified for development I just wanted to work with the, the full version so that was a quick test for interact JS just seeing what it was like to throw in a canvas along with the div and the drag and drop that works and uh, I'll see what comes up tomorrow